Hi everyone, this is Ryan and for today's topic, I'm going to be talking about cutting your losses and letting your winners run. Now, a lot of successful traders or traders out there always like to say you should cut your losses and let your winners run. Now, now when I hear that, I get very, very pissed off. You know why? Because these people have no idea what they're talking about. I mean, really let your winners run run to where the toilet run to the toilet bowl run to the dustbin now come on you should not be doing that i mean if you're looking at your trade and your trade is running at 80 pips or 100 pips profit are you just going to continue letting it run what if it goes back to zero what if it goes back to your and hits your stop loss now that is the worst thing you can do letting your winners run Indeed. <laughs> now, what you should be doing is cut your losses early or cut your losses small because you don't want to end up with one big hole in your trading account, right? And then locking in your profits, right? You should always lock in your profits. Like if your trade is running at 80 pips or 100 pips profit, you should always lock it in. When I say lock it in, it means you exit a certain percentage of your position. You could exit half of your position and then you let another, you know, you let the other half go on to maybe 150 or 200 pips, right? But don't just let it run endlessly, right? There is no target in sight. Where is it going to end up? It's going to end up in the toilet bowl. Try Trust me on that. All right. So never ever do that. Don't let, don't ever let your profits run to nowhere. Right. You should always lock in your profits and then have a plan where you are going to exit the rest of your trade. All right. <sighs> Alright, so that's all for today's topic. Uh, remember to like my Facebook page or to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you in the next video.